When you stand in front of a shelf of bottled water or browse home filtration systems, you're faced with a choice that seems simple but is surprisingly complex. On one side, you have reverse osmosis water, a modern marvel of filtration. On the other, there's distilled water, a method as old as nature itself. Both promise purity, a clean slate for your body. But what you're really choosing between are two fundamentally different philosophies of water purification. Let's break down the real differences so you can decide which one truly fits your needs. Process and mechanism. Here's what matters when you look under the hood of these two methods. Reverse osmosis, or RO, is a feat of engineering that works on a molecular level. Imagine a security checkpoint for water. An RO system uses high pressure to force your tap water through a special paper-thin sheet called a semi-permeable membrane. This membrane is riddled with microscopic pores, so tiny that they allow water molecules to pass through, but block larger molecules like salts, minerals, and most chemical contaminants. Distillation, by contrast, is a much more elemental and patient process. Think of it as mimicking the Earth's natural water cycle. Evaporation, condensation, amount, and precipitation. A distiller boils water, turning it into steam. As the water evaporates, it leaves behind nearly everything that has a higher boiling point, which includes minerals, heavy metals, and many other impurities. This pure steam is then channeled into a separate chamber where it cools and condenses back into liquid water. Contaminant removal and purity. Both RO and distillation produce incredibly pure water, but their definitions of pure have subtle but important distinctions. Reverse osmosis is exceptionally good at removing a wide spectrum of contaminants, typically filtering out over 90% to 99% of total dissolved solids, TDS. This includes heavy metals like lead, minerals like calcium and magnesium, salts, and many chemicals. However, because it's a physical filtration process, its effectiveness can vary. Distillation takes purity to an almost absolute level. Because it separates water from nearly everything else based on boiling points, the resulting liquid is incredibly clean, often considered 99.9% .9 pure. It effectively removes bacteria, viruses, salts, heavy metals, and dissolved minerals. The heat of boiling also kills any microorganisms present in the source water. However, distillation has its own Achilles heel, volatile organic compounds, VOCs. Taste and mineral content. The difference in taste between reverse osmosis and distilled water is one of the most immediate and noticeable distinctions, and it all comes down to minerals. Our palates are accustomed to the subtle flavors that minerals like calcium, magnesium, and potassium impart to water. Reverse osmosis systems, while removing the vast majority of minerals, often leave just enough behind to give the water a clean, crisp, and slightly enhanced flavor that most people find pleasant. Distilled water is a completely different story. In its quest for absolute purity, distillation strips out virtually all minerals and dissolved solids. The result is water that tastes noticeably flat, bland, or even slightly metallic to some people. This empty taste is the direct result of having nothing in it but H2O. While this ultra-pure state is ideal for certain applications, it's often considered less palatable for everyday drinking. Speed, convenience, and availability. In the practical world of daily life, convenience often reigns supreme, and this is where reverse osmosis truly shines. RO systems are designed for on-demand use. Typically installed under a kitchen sink with a dedicated faucet, a home RO system can produce anywhere from 50 to hundreds of gallons of purified water per day, depending on the model. You simply turn the tap, and a steady stream of filtered water is available for drinking, cooking, or filling up a coffee pot. Distillation, on the other hand, is a far more manual and time-consuming process. A typical countertop home distiller can take between four to six hours to produce a single gallon of water. This means if you want distilled water for drinking, you have to plan ahead. You need to fill the distiller, run a lengthy cycle, and then store the purified water for later use. This batch-based production is simply too slow and cumbersome for most households to rely on for their primary source of drinking water. 
energy use, and waste. When you purify water, there's always an environmental cost, and here the trade-offs between reverse osmosis and distillation become very clear. The primary cost of reverse osmosis is water, because the system works by forcing water through a membrane and flushing away the rejected contaminants, it produces a stream of wastewater, often called brine. The efficiency of systems varies, but older models could waste several gallons of water for every gallon of pure water produced. Distillation operates on the opposite end of the spectrum. It produces zero wastewater, as every drop of water that is turned into steam is eventually condensed back into pure liquid. However, its energy consumption is significant. Boiling water for hours requires a substantial amount of electricity, making home distillation a much more energy-intensive process per gallon compared to reverse osmosis. Cost considerations. Financially, the choice between reverse osmosis and distilled water involves weighing upfront investment against long-term operational costs. A reverse osmosis system typically has a higher initial cost. A quality under sink unit can range from a few hundred to over a thousand dollars, including professional installation. After that, there are ongoing maintenance costs for replacing the various filters, sediment and carbon filters, annually, and the RO membrane every few years. Distillation systems generally have a lower upfront cost for a basic countertop unit. However, the operational costs can be higher on a per gallon basis, primarily due to the significant amount of electricity required to boil the water. If you choose to buy bottled distilled water instead of making it at home, the cost per gallon is substantially higher than what you would pay to produce RO water at home. Use cases. The best choice between reverse osmosis and distilled water often depends entirely on what you intend to use it for. Reverse osmosis water is the clear winner for most residential applications. Its excellent taste, removal of common contaminants, and on-demand availability make it ideal for everyday drinking, cooking, making coffee or tea, and watering houseplants. Distilled water, with its extreme purity and near total absence of minerals, has a more specialized set of applications. It is the gold standard in settings where mineral buildup can cause damage or interfere with processes. This includes medical equipment like CPAP machines and sterilizers, laboratory experiments, and automotive applications like topping off lead-acid batteries and filling car cooling systems. Health and TDS context. The conversation around water and health often involves the term total dissolved solids, which is a measure of all the minerals, salts, and metals dissolved in water. Both reverse osmosis and distillation are incredibly effective at reducing TDS. Distillation reduces TDS to near zero, creating demineralized water. Traditional reverse osmosis also drastically lowers TDS, though not always to the same extreme level. This is where modern RO systems offer a significant advantage. Recognizing that a certain level of mineral content is desirable for both health and taste, many advanced RO systems now feature remineralization filters or TDS control systems. These allow users to add back a controlled amount of beneficial minerals, creating what is often called mineral water or alkaline water. This gives you the best of both worlds, the removal of harmful contaminants followed by the reintroduction of desirable elements. So, who wins? Let me explain how this all comes together. If your goal is to have the best possible water for drinking and cooking at home, a reverse osmosis system is almost certainly the right choice for you. It delivers exceptionally pure water on demand, has a superior taste, and modern systems give you the option to add back beneficial minerals. It's convenient, cost-effective over the long run, and represents the pinnacle of home water filtration technology for everyday use. It strikes the perfect balance between purity and practicality. Distilled water is not a competitor in this arena. It's a specialist. Its defining characteristic, an almost complete lack of mineral content, makes it indispensable for specific applications where mineral buildup is a problem.